line here. Give me a second. If anybody wants to join, join in. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Mitchell Kaufman. I'm the yoga program manager at Planet Grand in Fountain Valley. Um, I also am a professor of philosophy. I teach at a school called AMDA in Hollywood. And today we're going to be doing a philosophy and foundations flow where we talk a little bit about the philosophy of yoga and then we drive a meditation to really experience what the words are all about. So we're not going to get stuck in the words, we're going to get right into the body as fast as we can. Um, today's class, sorry, I'm up in the mountains here so a little bit of short breath if you see me kind of gasping for air through the practice, my body hasn't quite adjusted yet. Um, but today's practice we are talking about the pranamaya kosha. So the koshas in yoga philosophy are our bodies and we actually have five bodies according to yoga philosophy we have an eternal consciousness called an atman and this consciousness is wrapped up in five different bodies and if you ever heard of any reincarnation stories uh, your atman goes on after this life but your five bodies get left behind and you wrap up in five new bodies so the five bodies are your physical body your energetic body your mental body your intellect body and then your bliss body. Today we're talking about the second body, the energetic body, and it's our, called our pranamaya kosha. Kosha might mean chi, uh, depending on your interpretation, sheath or body, something along those lines. Um, and the interesting thing about these bodies is as you go up, they start to become more and more subtle. So our physical body is the most gross or least subtle, not gross and disgusting, but kind of physical aspect. And then our energetic body is the second most gross, or kind of moving up the subtle chain. And then it gets up into our third body, our mental body, our manamaya kosha. So today we're going to be working with all three of these, but we're really going to be focusing on kind of trying to experience our pranamaya kosha. And the cool thing about the pranamaya kosha is in yogic philosophy, this is what you use to clear out all different types of physical ailments, um, it also ends up helping with all different types of mental ailments as well. So if you're having any stress in your life or if you're feeling a little bit sick, either of those things, by charging up your pranamaya kosha and by connecting in and checking in with it all the time, you're really going to find that you have an ability to actually clear out certain blockages or even cure yourself of certain Ill illnesses that you might um, kind of contract through life. So. Today we're going to be, like I said, working on the first three all together, physical body, the energetic body, and the mental body. And what we're going to be focusing on is using our attention and our awareness. Now there's a difference between attention and awareness. Attention is going to be something that you pay attention to right in, your mo in the moment. So if you're thinking about when you're kind of like, we're 16 and you're first starting to drive, your attention might have been on the road, it might have been on both hands on the wheel, it might have been on the speedometer, on the mirrors, all sorts of different places, and you're kind of checking back and forth all the time. Now, as you get your attention further and further into driving and you spend a lot of time doing that, you'll start to build awareness. Awareness is when you're, you have an ability to check in with things without making your attention really hyper-focused on it. So, as you're driving kind of later in life, you find that, yeah, I know what speed I'm going. I'm familiar and aware of my mirrors, and I know who's on the road around me even without kind of darting back and forth with my head. So we're going to do the same thing that we do driving, but we're going to do it with our body now. So the keys and the tools we're going to use today are the, those attention and awareness tools. And to build this, we're going to be using our imagination. Now in the beginning, it's our imagination, but our imagination is just a specific kind of attention. We might imagine playing a game. We might imagine our future or a kind of a dream board you might come up with, something like that. And over time, if you imagine it over and over again, you find that, hey, lo and behold, it becomes real. So we're going to imagine all sorts of things today. And over time, we're going to find that instead of imagining, as we continue this practice for years down the road, you're going to actually experience the things that you imagine. And they're going to be just as real as when your vision board comes true in life. All right? Okay, so I'm not getting any comments popping up on the screen. I'm going to be trying to follow along. So if anybody has any questions, go ahead and throw some comments out there. Otherwise, we're going to get started on the flow. Cool. So pop those questions up whenever you want. But for today, 
You can grab a couple of uh, pillows or you can have a block. I'm just going to use these as blocks. Um, it's definitely preferable to have hard surface. I know there's some people out there using books as blocks, or if you have a block at home, use that. But pillows by the side are just as good for today. All right. So we're going to start coming onto our hands and knees. And we're going to find that our hands are just below our shoulders and our knees are just below our hips. Okay. So we're in a tabletop position here, and we're going to extend the crown of our head to the front of the room. I'm going to call this the front of the room for now. And extend the tailbone to the back of the room. Get a nice, flat tabletop position. And just take a moment to check in. Now from here, bring your toe, big toes to touch and press your hips back towards your heels until your sits bones connect in with your hips, to your heels. And you can take your forehead to the mat. We're just coming into child's pose. Before we start really turning on our imagination, we want to check in with a baseline. So we're going to be practicing and then we're going to stop and check back in. So this is our baseline for today, our child's pose. So go ahead and notice any sensations that are coming, any physical sensations. Notice any energetic experiences. Maybe you're really tired. Maybe you're really groggy. Just paying attention to the energies right now. Take as much time with those experiences as you need to really check in. And allow those to fade to the back of your mind, shifting your attention to any thoughts that come up. Maybe feeling your third eye pressed against the ground, feeling those thoughts really stacked into the earth below you. Maybe you have thoughts racing. Maybe you have just one or two thoughts. Whatever it is, just be no we're not trying to change, not trying to judge, just checking in. All right, once you feel nice and checked in, you've got your baseline, come back up, find your hands and your knees, tabletop position, crown to the front of the room, tailbone to the back of the room, and we're going to take a cat cow. So to begin with, inhale, spread across the collarbone, lift the crown, lift the tailbone, hammock the belly. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, press through the back, press through the space between the shoulder blades, really round out that back. Inhale, come back through, moving into your cow. Exhale, press through into your cat. We're gonna turn on our imagination. We're gonna have a little bit of fun with this today. So go ahead and come back into cow on an inhale. Maybe you're gonna move as you're coming to cow. Move, nobody's watching you. I'm the only one people are watching here. And then go back through into your cat. Maybe you hiss when you get into cat. Really imagine you're that cat, that black cat on Halloween, really arching that back, afraid the hairs are standing up. And then come back in through your cow. Maybe you add another move. Maybe you're scaring all the people in your household with this. Maybe you're scaring yourself, just having fun. Coming back through into your cat. And when you're ready, find a nice neutral spine. Crown to the front of the room, tailbone to the back. All right, really extend that crown and extend that tailbone. We're gonna find that center line of energy and then imagine from your heart center, all of that energy traces across your shoulders and down through your arms into the center of the earth. Take your time, press all of the energy. Maybe you're imagining like the people you love in your life and you feel all the energy in your heart really extending out from the body into the arms and into the earth. And once it hits the center of the earth, allow that energy to bounce back up. From there, we're going to inhale, lifting the left arm up off of the mat, reaching it to the sky, feeling the energy spread across the chest, across the fingertips, all the way to the center of the earth and all the way out into outer space. And then exhale, come under the arm, come to the shoulder and the side of the face. We're coming to thread the needle. The right arm can reach to the front. It can reach to the top of the hand, or if you want, you can bring it around for a bind, maybe adjusting your legs so that your knees are right under your hips still. Wherever you are, keep that awareness in the energy going from fingertip to fingertip or going from palm to palm. When you're ready, exhale here. Inhale, release that arm, reach it up for a moment. Exhale, plant the right hand under the right shoulder. Inhale, lift open and spread across the chest, really connecting with that imagination. Everything to the outside edges of the world. And then exhale, hand to the mat. Take a moment and check in here, maybe wiggling from side to side. Maybe take another cat cow, whatever you want to keep your body flowing. And when you're ready, 
Send the energy back into the center of the earth, extending it all the way from the heart through the palms into the center. Take your time. It bounces back off to the center of the earth. That presses into the arms and lifts up your right hand, spreading across the chest, really reaching to the sky. Exhale, take that right hand under the left arm to the shoulder, to the side of the face here. Maybe sending the left hand out to the front, maybe to the top of the right hand, or maybe all the way around for the bind. Wherever you are, stay connected in. Heart center spreading across the chest. Maybe you lift open that left shoulder a little bit more. Exhale here. Inhale, release and lift the left arm to the sky. Exhale, plant the left hand under the left shoulder. Inhale, reach open one more time. And exhale to tabletop. All right, take a moment, check in. Send the crown to the front of the room, tailbone to the back of the room, and find your cat cow. Inhale, lift the crown, lift the tailbone. Here, make the belly spread across the collarbone. Exhale, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Round through the back, press through the space between the shoulder blades. Come back through a couple more times. Inhale, and exhale. And then find a neutral spine at tabletop, crown to the front, tailbone to the back. And then we're going to float the left hand. Don't move anything else other than that left hand. Then reach that left hand forward. And then if you want, float the right leg back. You can extend the toe or you can point the toe to the center of the earth. It doesn't matter as long as you're paying attention to what you're doing. Now from here, draw the right knee in, tucking the tailbone so that you can scoop the knee all the way to the front. All right, from there, reach on up with both arms, find a dragon here. Maybe you release your hands to the knee, start to warm up your body. Just checking in, whatever you need to do, you can move around here. You can stay in stillness. You might stretch through the thigh here. You might be stretching into the hip flexor a little bit more. Whatever you need in your practice. Doesn't matter what you're doing as long as you're paying attention. Building that awareness over time. When you're ready, exhale, and then inhale, reaches your arms up to the sky. Exhale, plant your hands on either side of your foot, undo the motion. So we're going to tuck the knee back in and send the right leg back out. And then drop the knee to meet the other tabletop position. Float the right hand for a moment, active through the core, draw your navel towards the spine to really engage that core, and then reach the right arm forward, finding a flat back. Exhale here. Inhale, send the left leg back. Maybe toes are down, maybe they're pointing back, whatever you want in your practice. And when you're ready, draw the knee and tuck the tailbone so that you can step that leg all the way up without hitting the ground if you can. Then send the left arm forward. Inhale on up. Exhale, hands to the knees, and maybe finding movement warming up. Whatever you need. To really check in with your body. How is it feeling today? Is there a difference from the right side to the left side? Is there not? We're not judging, we're just being aware. When you're ready, inhale the arms up. Exhale, frame the foot. Plant the hand, send the energy to the center of the earth. Tuck the knee back in and send the leg back. Right, left knee meets right knee here, tabletop position. Take your one more cat cow. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, come to your flat back. Bring the big toes to touch, set back till your child's pose hits to the heels. Notice if there's any changes. Any difference from the first child's pose to now? Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. We're just being aware. And from here, when you're ready, inhale up through tabletop. We're going to tuck the toes. Try to find the balls of the feet on the ground, not the tips of the toes. So go ahead and maybe sit back. Sit your hips back a little bit. Stretch those toes out. Maybe coming forward. Maybe doing some circles. Whatever you need to really start to stretch into the feet here to try to get the balls of the feet on the ground. Then when you're ready, we're going to inhale and exhale. Send the hips up and back. Keep a deep bend in the knees. We're coming into a modified down dog. 
You might need to set your hands a little bit forward. Uh, whatever you need to do to really find your down dog, maybe pedaling it out a little bit. We're taking that deep end in the knees to keep a nice flat back. From there, inhale the right leg to the sky. Exhale, step it in between the hands. Inhale, elongate the crown away from the tailbone. Send the tailbone to the left heel. Really feel it start to tuck under. Exhale, drop the knee. Inhale, come back up to dragon. Just for a moment. And then exhale, move the hands towards the knee here and draw back on the right leg, lifting the toe up for a half split. You might need to adjust so that your knee is directly under your hip here. Inhale, elongate the crown. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, come up to a half lift, crown to the front, tailbone to the back. Exhale, plant the foot, then the knee, tuck the back toe, and inhale up to elongate that crown away from the tailbone. From there, plant the hand, send the right foot back to meet the left high plank. In high plank, you really want to have a nice tucked tailbone. So if you feel like your booty's popping out and your belly's hanging down, tuck that tailbone. And from there, take a deep bend in the knee, send it back to down dog. Maybe pedaling out your down dog. When you're ready, find stillness. Inhale the left heel to the sky and step it in between the hands. Elongate on an inhale, send the tailbone to the heel. Drop the knee, untuck the toes, inhale up to dragon. Exhale, plant the hands by the knee, draw back on the left toe, maybe shifting your leg back so your knee is under your hip. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, forward fold. One more time. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, crown and tailbone reaching away from each other. Exhale, bend the knee, tuck the toes, plant the hands. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale. Press the energy all the way to the center of the earth and send the left foot back to meet the right high plank. From there, come forward and down. You're going to need to back up into the camera here. Come forward and down halfway to Chaturanga and then all the way to your belly, chest, and chin touch the ground. Untuck the feet. Open your arms up to a T and just lay here for a moment. What's it like to be lying on the ground? Feeling your chest nice and spread. Feeling the energy moving from your heart all the way out to the hands, into the center of the earth, or maybe to the outside edges of the earth. From there, bring your hands back under your shoulders. Straighten out the chin. Draw the elbows towards one another. Press the feet into the ground and inhale to lift the crown. Float the hands for a baby cobra. Inhale into the belly and exhale. Find a little rock. Inhale and exhale. Really imagine your cobra here coming up and exhale coming down. Find that imagination. Inhale up, exhale down. Come all the way down this time. Plant the hands, tuck the toes, press through the knees of the hands, and then send your hips back and up, downward facing dog. Maybe pedaling out your down dog. From here, inhale the right heel to the sky. Exhale, step it in between the hands. Inhale, elongate the crown. Lift the left foot, ground, so we're setting up for warrior one. Feet are about hips distance apart. Inhale, come on up. Exhale here. Feel your tailbone reach to the center of the earth as your crown lifts to the sky. Inhale, crown floats up higher, tailbone stays connected to the center of the earth. Really trace up and down your spine. Inhale and exhale. When you're ready, Inhale, keep that tailbone pointing to the center of the earth and allow the crown to float you till your front leg comes to straight. Exhale, pour forward and down. Inhale, half lift, crown to the front of the room. Exhale, forward fold, coming into a pyramid stretch here. And when you're ready, plant the left hand inside of the right foot. Imagine all that energy sends to the center of the earth through the left hand. And then it bounces up off the center, back into the hand, fills up your arm, comes up the forearm, the bicep, the shoulder, into the chest, spread across the chest, lift the right arm to the sky, really spread across the chest, feel the energy send out the right fingertips to the sky. Exhale, deepen your twist. Inhale, reach up one more time, spread across the chest, spread across the fingertips. Exhale, right hand to the mat. 
Take a bend in the right knee and inhale, lift the left leg slightly for just a partial standing split. And then exhale, left foot meets right, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, crown to the front, tailbone to the back, a nice flat back here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to standing, the arms reach up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center and release. Take a moment and check in. First time standing in our practice today. What's it like to be standing? How's this different from anything else we've done in practice? And how is it similar? Once you've checked in, exhale fully. Send the energy all the way through the feet into the center of the earth. As it bounces off the center of the earth, it comes up through the feet, fills the feet, fills the ankles, fills the lower leg, into the kneecaps. The kneecaps lift. Quadriceps activate into the hips. Your hips slightly tuck on the tailbone towards the heels. Up through the spine, into the chest, across the chest, into the shoulders. Feel your shoulders melting down the back. Arms can open. Palms facing forward. Exhale all the energy out of the palms into the center of the earth. Out of the feet into the center of the earth. And as they bounce back up off the center, allow that to float you up. Arms reach up overhead, reaching to the sky. Feel your energy from the center of the earth all the way to the outside edges of the universe. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to a high plank. You can come all the way down to your belly or come forward and down halfway to Chaturanga. Lift the toes. Inhale into up dog. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale here, check in with your down dog. Notice any differences from the first down dog to now. And when you're ready, inhale the left heel to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, elongate the crown, send the tailbone to the heel. Step that right leg up, ground for warrior one. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, tailbone to the center of the earth. Inhale, crown reaches up to the universe. Tailbone still stays to the center. Exhale, crown lifts, tailbone sends it even further down. Really finding a balance of opposites here. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, keep your tailbone down. Your crown lifts your front leg to straight. Exhale, pour forward and down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Find your pyramid here, your intense leg stretch. Plant your right hand inside of the left foot and send all the energy through your right hand into the center of the earth. Really coming out of the palm of the hand here. Active through the fingertips. Active through the full finger. Once the energy bounces off that, it comes up into the hand, into the wrist, into the forearm. The upper arm, the shoulder, comes across the chest. Feel you turn across that chest. Left arm reaches to the sky and really sends the energy all the way out of the fingertips or out of the palm here. Inhale, elongate, spread those fingers and spread across the chest. Exhale, left hand to the mat. Take a deep bend in the left knee. Lift the inner upper thigh on the right leg to a standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to standing, feeling the energy fill your legs from the earth. Fill your upper body all the way through your arms. Exhale, hands to heart center. And release. Check back in. Notice any changes from the beginning of practice to now. Maybe you're feeling warmed up. Now we're going to check in with those three koshas. Your physical body is still here. Do you feel any energetic movement inside? If you do, that's your pranamaya kosha. If you don't feel any energetic movement, don't worry about it. We'll build up some more energy. As you're checking in with your pranamaya kosha, take a moment and notice what's happening to your manamaya kosha, your mental body. Are you still thinking the same thoughts you were at the beginning of practice? Are you thinking different thoughts? Maybe you weren't thinking at all. No judgment, just being aware. And when you're ready, exhale fully, send the energy through the feet and through the hands all the way to the center of the earth. 
bounces off the center of the earth. Inhale, coming back up the legs, fills up the legs, coming into the spine, filling up your arms as it comes up, floating up with your arms, all the way to the outer space. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to high plank, move through your chaturanga, keep that exhale going. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take a moment, check in, drop the knees, untuck the toes, press back to child's pose. Notice any changes. Are you feeling your energetic flow inside? Your physical body is still. Is your, on, is your pranamaya kosha moving around? All right, just being a, paying attention, using your imagination, and then feeling what you actually feel. So turning off that imagination, what actually is there? When you're ready, exhale fully. Inhale, come up through table, tuck the toes, find the ball of the feet, send the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale here. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, send it through in between the hands. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, ground the heel on the left foot. We're setting up for warrior two. So the heel's in line with the center of the arch or the heel to heel, either way is fine. Inhale, come on up, release the hands for a moment. We're gonna set the form. So look down at your right knee. Your right knee should be over your right ankle and you should be able to see the big toe on your right foot. If you can't, elongate the inner thigh, draw back on the outer thigh. That's gonna open up the knee until you can see that big toe. From there, hips are open to the side of the room. Ground through the outside edge of the left foot, lift through the inside edge, and turn your shoulders to the side of the room as well. Shoulders are directly above the hips. There's a tendency to have them forward, send them on back. Right above the hips, exhale here. Inhale, arms up to parallel. If there's space in the neck, exhale, turn the gaze forward. Inhale and exhale in your warrior two. Still checking in with your energy, so send that tailbone to the center of the earth. You might have to slightly tuck the tailbone to do it. Inhales, crown floats up, tailbone stays down. Exhale, tailbone reaches down, crown stays up. When you're ready, flip your front hand. Inhale, reach it to the sky, keep your legs where they are, and then back towards the back of the room, left hand tracks down the left leg. So reverse your warrior. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, tailbone to the center of the earth. Inhale, and exhale. When you're ready, inhale one more time. Exhale, take your right elbow to float above the right knee. We're not touching the right knee here. Left arm to the sky. Imagine you're holding a dinner plate here. So you really got a lot of weight and energy in your right hand. Left arm reaching up. Inhale and exhale, side angle. When you're ready, inhale back up into warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands to the ground. Send the right leg back, high plank to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a moment and breathe. Inhale and exhale. Then inhale the left heel to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, elongate the crown, send the tailbone to the heel. Exhale, ground the right heel, heel to arch or heel to heel. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, release. Set the form, left knee over the left ankle, elongate the thigh and draw back on the outside of it. See that big left toe. Hips are open to the side. Ground through the outside edge of the right foot, lift through the inside edge. And your shoulders turn to match your hips. Shoulders are over the hips, exhale here, everything to the center of the earth. That tailbone slightly tucks right down to the center. Inhale as the energy bounces off of the center of the earth, up the tailbone, up the spine. Arms come up to parallel. Exhale, gaze comes to the front of the room. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Floating. Exhale, crown stays up, tailbone down. Inhale, tailbone down, crown up. Exhale, flip that front hand. Inhale, reach to the sky, all the way to the back. Exhale, tailbone to the center of the earth. So reverse your warrior. Legs are where they were originally. Inhale and exhale here. Now 
One more inhale. Exhale, left elbow over the left knee. Keep it floated. Right arm to the sky. Imagine you're holding that dinner plate really active through that left arm. Inhales, elongate the arms. Right arm reaches up. Left arm really holding that plate. Exhale, send the energy all the way down the spine into the right foot, into the earth. Inhale, it bounces up into the heart, across the arms. Exhale here. Inhale, come back up, warrior two. Exhale, windmill the arms, high plank to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale and exhale here. Now we're going to find a flow. Inhale the right foot to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, ground the heel. Inhale up, warrior two. Exhale. Inhale, really set the legs. Exhale, flip the front hand. Inhale, reverse. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Come into your side angle. Hold that dinner plate active through the energetic center. Exhale here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up, warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands, high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale up, dog. Exhale, down, dog. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, elongate the crown. Exhale, ground the heel. Inhale, round up, warrior two. Exhale, step your form. Inhale. Exhale, flip that front hand. Inhale to reverse. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale to side angle. Float the elbow. Active through the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Keep it going. Inhale, the right heel up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, elongate the crown. Exhale, ground the heel. Inhale, up, warrior two. Exhale, flip the front hand in reverse. Inhale, here. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, spread across the chest, hold your dinner plate. Exhale, and then inhale up, warrior two. Exhale, high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left heel up, step it through. Inhale, elongates the crown. Exhale, ground the heel. Inhale up, warrior two. Exhale, flip the front hand in reverse. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, lengthen across the arms. Exhale here, hold your dinner plate. Inhale up, warrior two. Exhale, women with hands, high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale up, dog. Exhale down, dog. From here, drop the knees, untuck the toes. Press your hips back to your heels, child's pose. Allow your physical body to be still and check in with your energetic body. Notice any movement. Maybe you have a lot of energy built up from that flow. Maybe not. All you're doing is paying attention and eventually your awareness will get into your pranamaya kosha, that energetic body. When you're here, maybe choosing a place to send that energy to. So send your awareness into your hips, or into any tight places, maybe in your knees, maybe your low back. Use that movement of energy and use your mental body, your manamaya kosha, to interact with one another and clear out your physical blockages. Imagining those physical blockages release and eventually they will release. Inhale and exhale. And when you're ready, Find stillness in your physical body, find stillness in your energetic body, find stillness in your mental body. As you're ready, an inhale takes you up into tabletop. Hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips, crown to the front of the room, tail to the back of the room. 
take a moment and check in. How is this tabletop different from the very first one in our practice? And how is it the same? Not judging or changing, just being aware. When you're ready, tuck your toes, send your hips back and up, downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale here. And inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, elongate the crown. Send the tailbone to the heel. Exhale, ground the left leg. Inhale up, warrior two. We're going to find a little bit of balance here. Drop your left hand to your left hip. Reach your right hand to the outside of the right foot. Send energy from the heart center all the way down the arm. Really feel that spread your heart center open all the way into the center of the earth. When the energy comes back up the center of the earth, you're going to draw your left leg forward and spring forward into half moon. I'm really off the camera here. Let me adjust myself. Springing forward into half moon. All right. Elongate the crown. Maybe having one of your pillows with you for a block. Exhale here. Inhale. Exhale. Return to your warrior two. Bend the knee. Find the back foot grounded. Find your arms up in your warrior two. Inhale and exhale here. Tailbone to the center of the earth, crown floats up. Inhale, fill that energy up through the tailbone, through the spine, draw your thighs towards one another, draw your back leg, your front leg to straight. Exhale here. Inhale up. Exhale, reach forward and down, coming into triangle pose. Really spread across that chest. Send the energy into the center of the earth and into outer space. Inhale, open the chest even more. Exhale, send the fingers away from each other. One more time, inhale, and exhale. When you're ready, inhale up, right arm reaches to the sky, reverse your triangle. Exhale, find warrior two, put a bend in your right knee. Hands to parallel. Inhale here. Exhale, high plank to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale and exhale. On an inhale, your left leg floats. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, elongate the spine. Exhale, ground the heel. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, drop your right hand. Inhale. Exhale, drop your left hand, send the energy from the heart center all the way to the center of the earth. Roll that right shoulder back so you can really spread it. As it bounces back up, your inhale lifts you forward and up. Coming into your half moon here. Pressing the heel into the back of the room. Maybe floating the right arm up, really spreading across the chest. Inhale and exhale. Inhale once more. Exhale, return the right foot. Find your warrior two. Draw that leg back. Come forward and down. We're taking triangle for a moment. Inhale, spread across that triangle. Really open across the arms, open across the chest. Exhale, send the energy all the way from the chest out into the outside edges of the universe. Inhale, once it bounces up, let it carry your left arm to the sky to reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Right knee bends, or left knee bends, and the arms come to parallel. Inhale here. Exhale, high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take an inhale and an exhale. And we're going to flow through that. Inhale the right leg to the sky. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, ground. Inhale, up. Exhale. Take the right hand to the center of the earth. Your inhale springs you up. Half moon. Your exhale comes right back down. Come into your triangle immediately. Straighten that front leg. Inhale across the chest. Exhale to the center of the earth. Inhale, right arm to the sky, reverse. 
Exhale, warrior two. Keep that exhale going. Windmill the hands, high plank to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left heel. Step it through. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, grounds. Inhale, come up. Exhale, here. Let's take the hand to the center of the earth. Energy to the center of the earth. Bounce it back off. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, right back down. Straighten that front leg. Find your triangle. Inhale, spread across the triangle. Exhale to the center of the earth. Inhale, left arm comes all the way up to reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Windmill the hands, high plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Drop the knees, untuck the toes, press the hips back to the heels, child's pose. Inhale and exhale here. What is this child's pose like? Can you find your physical body in stillness? And what's still moving in there? We're not imagining anything right now, we're just paying attention. Actually asking, is there any energetic movement? Not trying to judge or change, just being aware of the pranamaya kosha. And then take that awareness, take all of that energy, and using your imagination now, bring all of that energy to the forefront of your mind. Find your third eye, the space right between the brows. The space pressed into the mat here. Notice any thoughts that are in this area. Are you tired? Are you bored? Maybe you're frustrated. Maybe you're thinking this class is the worst. No worries, no judgment. Maybe you're thinking it's the best. No judgment on that either. Wherever you are, just paying attention to these three different bodies. And when you're ready, exhale fully. Send all of the thoughts through the third eye. Send all of the energy through the hands and the feet. Feel your physical body coming even closer to the ground. Inhale, come up through tabletop. Tuck the toes. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, take your right heel to the sky. Exhale, bring the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, send it back up. Exhale, bring the right knee to the left elbow. Keep your shoulder square. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, right knee to the nose. Press through the space between the shoulder blades. Inhale, back up. Exhale, right knee behind the right wrist. Right ankle behind the left wrist. Doesn't matter if it doesn't get forward. It can come back a little bit further. You're going to draw your toes towards your knee to protect your knee. Draw your thighs together to engage the thighs. Send the tailbone to the ground. You're really active through your pelvic floor. Look back, your left leg is in line with your left hip. If it's splayed out, bring it in. Your inhale brings you up. Crown to the center of the earth, tailbone reaches up. Or, sorry, <laughs> invert that. Tailbone to the center of the earth, crown reaches up. Inhales and exhales. And this high pigeon. And if you'd like, inhale once, exhale, leading with your sternum coming forward to sphinx. Elbows directly below the shoulders. Inhale, elongate the spine. And if you want, you can come down all the way. Forehead can come to the mat. Camera you gave here. Forehead can come to the mat. Draw your thighs towards one another, active through the toes to protect the knee. Inhales into the belly. Feel your belly press against your thigh. As you exhale, allow your upper body to fall into the space you've created with that air. Each inhale presses the belly against the thigh. Each exhale takes your upper body closer to the mat. Couple more breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Allowing that energetic prana to work its way through. Where your awareness goes, prana flows. So anything that's tight, just pay attention to it. And the energy is going to go into that space for you. It's going to clear it out. You don't have to do anything. Inhale and exhale. 
When you're ready, draw your thighs together. Inhale, elongate the spine. Come back up to your sphinx. Exhale, send the tailbone to the center of the earth. It's going to be a little tricky here, but you're going to try to tuck that tailbone slightly. Inhale, walk your hands back up. Keep those thighs drawing together. Find that pigeon again. Exhale, plant the hands. Tuck the toes. Inhale, send the right leg back and up. Exhale, right foot meets left. Maybe pedaling it out. Take a moment, drop the knees, untuck the toes, press back to child pose. Notice any difference from the right side to the left side? Anything's changed from that? Anything that stayed the same? And just here for a moment, and when you're ready, inhale back up to table. Exhale, tuck the toes down to facing up. Inhale the left heel to the sky. Exhale, left knee to the left elbow. Inhale it back up. Exhale, left knee to the right elbow. Keep your shoulders square. Inhale up. Exhale, left knee to the nose. Press between the space and the shoulder blades. And inhale back up. Exhale, left knee behind the left wrist. Left ankle comes towards the right wrist. It doesn't have to go all the way up. Untuck the right toes. Active through the left toes, drawing the left toes back towards the left knee to protect the knee. Draw the thighs together, send the tailbone to the center of the earth. Active pelvic floor here. Inhale, feel the crown floating up, tailbone to the center. Exhale, crown still floats, tailbone reaches down even further. Inhale up. Exhale, lead with your sternum coming forward and down, finding your sphinx. Elbows directly below the shoulders. Inhale, elongate the spine, crown reaches forward, tailbone reaches to the heels. Exhale, might take you further in. You might be up on your hands, you might have a block here. What you want is your shoulders and your neck released, no tension in the upper back. And your inhales come into your belly. Inhale into the belly. Feel that belly really pressing against your thigh with each inhale, so try to expand it. Imagine with each inhale, you're filling up the beach ball inside of your belly. And you feel that beach ball really pressing into the thigh. As you exhale, you're squishing the air out of the beach ball. Has anybody done that where you're really trying to squish out the air? You know, it's really hard, so really squish it all out. Inhale, expand. Exhale, squish out the air. Your upper body floats down closer to the mat here, closer to the carpet, whatever you're on. Inhale and exhale. Keep your thighs drawn together. And use your awareness, use your attention to guide that pranic energy anywhere into your body that you like. Maybe it's not your body. Maybe you want it into your mind. Bring it back into the third eye. You have a lot of stress going on, and a lot of us do right now. Stressful time, maybe. So allow your energy, allow that prana to clear out all of that stress, releasing any tension. Inhales and exhales. A couple more. Find your own breath. When you're ready, draw your thighs together, inhale, elongate the spine, come back up into your sphinx. Allow that beach ball to really press you up. Exhale here. Inhale, keep those thighs drawn together and walk yourself back up. Exhale, send the tailbone to the center of the earth, crown lifts to the sky. All the energy goes down into the center and balances back up on your inhale. Plant your hands on the exhale, tuck the toes. Inhale, send the left leg back and up. Exhale, left foot meets right, downward facing dog. Maybe elongate, maybe you're pedaling it out. Take a moment, drop the toes, drop the knees, untuck the toes, press back to child's pose. This is our last child's pose of the practice. How is this child similar to previous ones? And how is it different? Maybe try to remember all the way back to the very first child of this practice. What has changed? I want to stay the same. When you're ready, finding your baseline. Inhale, come back up through table. Exhale, tuck the toes, send the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Look between the hands, put a deep bend in the knees, and then walk, step your foot to the front of the mat. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to standing, our last standing posture. Exhale, hands through, heart center, and release them to the side. Check in one more time. Do you feel any energy? Can you send that energy to the center of the earth? So with this attention on all of this movement inside, eventually we're going to build awareness of our pranamaya kosha. Inhale and exhale. And when you're ready, you're going to make your way to seated. You can get there however you want, but if you want to follow, inhale your arms up. Step a little bit wider with your heels. Exhale, tuck the tailbone. Keep the knees behind the toes and come down for a Tai Chi squat. So our, knees are, our feet are pointed straight, not out to the side. If you can only go to there, that's okay. You can make your way down to the ground with your hands. If you can, come all the way back down, keeping those knees behind the toes. Wherever you are, sit back onto your hips. Float your feet for a moment, find a boat. Your arms can come out to flat. If you have nice long hamstrings, you can send them to straight. Mine are a little tight today, so I'm gonna keep them nice and even with the ground here. Inhale, sternum comes forward. Exhale, tailbone to the center of the earth. Inhale, and exhale, release. All right, find your feet about hips distance apart. Your toes are pointing straight forward, just like they were a moment ago. Inhale, reach your arms forward. Exhale, slowly roll one vertebrae at a time, coming all the way down to the ground. Take a moment to check in. What's it like to be lying on the ground? How is this different from the previous postures? How is it similar? And what's going on in your energetic body? When you're ready, Bring your heels in slightly so that the fingertips can graze the back of the heels. Keep your toes pointed straight forward. Press the feet into the ground. Press the palms into the ground, the shoulders into the ground, the entire arm into the ground. Inhale, we're gonna tuck that tailbone so the tailbone lifts up off the ground. That's gonna guide us all the way up. Keep the pelvis lifting. Roll one vertebrae at a time coming up into our first bridge here. Pressing the arms into the ground, pressing the feet into the ground, relaxing the buttocks. Inhale, send the sternum forward. Exhale, release, inverting this movement. So coming from the upper spine, rolling one vertebrae at a time, all the way down until your tailbone comes to the ground. Send your booty out, so stick your tailbone back out. You're gonna find a space between your low back and the ground here with a little bit of an arch. Feel the energy fill up that tailbone and start to send you back up. Tuck the tailbone, start to lift from the low spine, rolling all the way up all the way into the sternum, maybe bringing your hands together to clasp below your back and maybe walking your shoulders under. Inhale, sternum comes forward. Exhale, release the buttocks, keep the legs engaged. Inhale, fill the belly, fill that beach ball up. And exhale. One more time, inhale, release the clasp. Exhale, roll down from the upper back, all the way down, one vertebrae at a time, coming into the low spine. Send the tailbone to the center of the earth. Feel that low back lift up off the ground. And as you inhale, the tailbone fills with energy from the center of the earth and it starts to tuck. Coming back up, roll all the way up. Clasp your hands one more time. Sternum to the front. This time, lock your thumbs and switch the clasp on your hands. So it's the opposite direction, the awkward way of grabbing your hands, interlacing the fingers different. Inhale into the belly. Exhale, release the buttocks. Inhale, sternum forward. Exhale. One more time, inhale, fill that beach ball up, release the hands. Exhale, roll down from the upper back all the way till the tailbone hits the ground. Keep it going, send the tailbone to the center of the earth, the low back arches. Exhale, press the low back into the earth, find a flat back. And relax for a moment. Inhale and exhale here. On an inhale, draw your knees in towards your belly, give yourself a little bit of a hug. Maybe bring the palms to the knees, fingertips pointing down. Circle out the knees. Massage the low back here. You can go in full circles, you can go in S's. Whatever you want here, massaging the low back. We did a lot of work in our tailbone here, so that's a lot of energy. 
through that space. So we're just releasing any muscular tension that might be left. If you circled, maybe switching the direction of your circles. Wherever you are, just paying attention to any changes in your physical body, any changes in the energetic, and any changes in the mental. When you're ready, draw your legs in, give yourself a hug, and then send your left leg out to straight, keep your right leg tucked in. Open up the arms, palms facing up, shoulders grounded. Take your awareness into the right shoulder, keep that right shoulder on the ground and let the right leg drop to the left side of the mat. Only to the point where your shoulder starts to come off. Once your shoulder comes off the ground, back off a little bit so that your shoulder comes to ground it. Your foot can float. Gravity is working for you here. Keep that shoulder on the ground. Inhale into the belly. Exhale. Squish that beach ball out with your thigh, keeping that leg moving towards the ground. If you want more, your gaze can come to the right hand. Inhale and exhale. Maybe you draw your right leg down with your left arm. Still spreading across the chest. Fill that energy from palm to palm here. Allow the energy from the earth to press your right leg down, helping gravity. Inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, release the leg. Float it back up to neutral. Exhale here. Inhale, draw the left knee in. Give yourself a little hug. Exhale, send the right leg out. Keep the left knee tucked in. Inhale, open the arms up to a T. Ground the shoulders. Keep your awareness in the left shoulder. And then drop your left leg to the right side. Letting that shoulder stay on the ground. Inhale. Feel the beach ball in your belly. Exhale, squish that beach ball out. Maybe bring your right hand to the knee. Maybe your gaze comes to the left hand to deepen the twist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe one more breath cycle. Inhaling and exhaling at your own pace. And then release the knee. Inhale, fill the beach ball, float that knee up to neutral. Exhale here. Inhale, draw both legs in. Exhale, bring your hands to the top of the knee, fingertips pointing down the shins, and find your low back circles again. If you want, you can take a shoulder stand or a plow, anything you need to finish out your practice here. But if you're ready to kind of call it, a practice for about an hour here. Take a moment. Exhale fully. Inhale, draw your third eye to your knees. Really walk in this practice. Feel the energetic circle from your third eye through the legs into the tailbone, all the way back up the spine and back into the third eye. Find a circle here. Inhale and exhale in your ball. Inhale once more. And exhale to release. Arms and legs come out. We're setting up for Shavasana. Make any adjustments you need so your legs can come out. Ankles opening up wide. Arms opening up. Palms face up. Feel your chest open. Your heart expanding from all that energetic work. Inhale. Draw the energy in from the outside edges of the world. Through your hands. Through your feet. And through your crown. Inhale, draw all of the energy into the beach ball in your belly. As you exhale, condense that beach ball. Keep the energy in. The air will leave, but your pranic energy stays into the center of the earth, right at your third chakra, the belly area. Inhale one more time through all of the limbs, the hands, the feet, and through the crown. Exhale, condense your beach ball. Air expands escapes, but your prana stays in. When you're ready, last one. Inhale all the way in, into the beach ball. And as you exhale, keep the prana in, release all the tension, feel your physical body melt into the ground, your pranic body nice and centered. Feel your mental body ready to relax. 
as you melt finally into Shavasana. We'll be here for a few minutes. You're welcome to finish your practice in Shavasana, staying here as long as you like, feeling all of the pranic flow. But for the sake of time, if you're ready to come out, slowly drawing your awareness back into your body through the palms, through the bottoms of the feet, and through the crown of the head. Invite the pranic energy that lives around us and the world around us into you, filling you up. All the way into the center, filling your beach ball. Maybe you wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe your arms and your legs start to wake up as you feel the pranic flow inside. Maybe you even shake your torso or you move your head from side to side. And when you're ready, stretch through the legs, reach them away from your body, stretch through the arms, reach them all the way up, take a full body stretch here, feel the pranic energy going from tip to tip all the way up to the outside edges of the world. And then draw everything in, draw your knees in, draw your arms in, give yourself a little bit of a hug. And when you're ready, roll it over to your preferred side. Head can come to rest on the bicep. Take a moment to check in with the fetal position. Take as much time as you need here to really check in and feel like you're ready to be reborn into the world. When you are... Plant your top hand into the ground. Send the energy all the way to the center of the earth. 
And when it bounces back up, it fills your arm and it presses you up to seated, allowing your head to come up last. Eyes can be open or closed, whatever is more comfortable for you. Take a moment, find a seated position, maybe taking a pillow or a block with you to get your hips better. For me, two pillows or blocks today to get your hips above your knees here. Help gravity press your knees into the ground. Then draw your hands to heart center. Take a moment. Thank yourself for coming to this practice. Thank those of us with us or maybe in your house with you or space with you for giving you the time and allowing you to have this practice. Draw your thumbs to your third eye, shoulders melting down the back. Bow forward to seal in the effects. You would bring all of that pranic energy into your center. Take as much time as you need. And when you're ready to take the effects of the yoga with you off the mat into your everyday world, and inhale, float your crown back up. Exhale, hands to the knees, palms up for more energy, down for more grounding. You can blink your eyes open, coming back to the space around you. Thank you all so much for coming to practice with me today. This was really fun for me. I hope you enjoyed it um, with lots of energetic flow and a deep meditation kind of like we had today. You're going to want to make sure to drink a lot of water. Uh, it'll help clear out all of the things that you release with your blockages. Keep paying attention to your energies as you go through this time in all of our lives. And eventually you'll build up that awareness of that pranamaya kosha. My name is Mitch Kaufman again. Um, the website that you can find me at my Facebook page is listed in the comments here. And we're posting all of Planet Granite Fountain Valley videos there. So go ahead and give it a follow. Leave any comments or anything you'd like to see. I'll be back with you again next week, Sunday at this time. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks.